Image labeling is the first of four item types in the image labeling category and has the most basic functionality. When creating an image labeling item, you will be able to select an item from currently available digital assets to use in your question. You will place points on the image and provide labels that correspond with each point. The student, when answering this question in your test, will match the correct labels to the points on the image. Let's make an image labeling item now. Select Image Labeling from the list of item types. As with all items, we must fill in the required fields. Begin by giving your item a label and a code. Your label and code should make it easy for you to identify your item in the future. In the item stem, provide critical details the students may need to know in order to answer this question correctly. Next, select the image you want to be labeled by clicking the blue Browse Image Library button below the item stem. Find the image you want to use and click Select. Your image will appear in the space below and you may now edit it for labeling. You may want to change your image's size. You do this by clicking Set Size located to the right of your image, then changing the values in the Height and Width boxes to the values you want and clicking the blue Reload button. This can be done quickly and repeatedly to tailor the image to your specifications. You may also use the color wheel just below to change the color of the points you will be placing. This could be useful in the event the default color blends in too well with your image and is not clearly visible. Click on the image directly over or right next to the point you want to mark for labeling. Make sure not to accidentally cover the places the students will need to see. If you misplace a point, you may click on the point and drag it to adjust its location. If you place too many points, you may click the blue Clear All button located to the right and reset your points. Points will automatically label from A to Z as you place them. Once you have all the points you want placed on the image, click the blue button that says, Click here to generate choices. You will see a list generated below your image with spaces to input the correct labels for each point on your image. Under Choice Details, you can choose to award points for each correctly placed label in the item by selecting Choice Level. This means that the student can still receive points on this item even if some labels are placed incorrectly. Alternatively, you can select Item Level and only award points for correctly placing every label in the item. This means that the student will only receive points on this item if all labels are correctly placed. Either way, you will now input the correct labels to the points on this list. If you selected Choice Level for scoring, be sure to provide score values for the correct answers for each choice before moving on. Values in the wrong score column must be set to zero or a negative value. You may provide feedback for the student after the test has been completed by clicking on the feedback boxes and typing your comments. You're almost done creating an image labeling item now. Be sure to fill in the remaining required fields below such as complexity and classification to categorize your item. You may provide hints and metadata before finishing your item if you prefer. When you are finished with your image labeling item, click the blue Save button at the very bottom of the screen. If all the required fields are properly filled out, you will be taken back to the Manage Item screen where you will find your item in the folder you added it. Click on the Options menu for the item and select Preview to see what your item will look like. You should see your image with the points on it and a list of your labels in random order on the left. Click on either a point or a label, and then click on its match. If you make a mistake, you can also change any answer before hitting Submit. When you're done, click the gray Submit button below. Keep in mind, you may need to scroll down to see the Submit button if your image is particularly large. A results screen will appear and tell you how you did. If you got the score you expected, your image labeling item is likely performing how you want it to, and you may click Edit to make necessary adjustments as you need. 
Congratulations on completing your image labeling item.